as SRV6 plays an increasingly important role on networks. Effective ONM becomes particularly important. Ping and Tracert are important methods for checking link connectivity and locating faulty nodes. Both methods apply to a wide range of scenarios. In this course, we use Ping and Tracer tests on an SRV6 network as an example to analyze the test process, ascertain package exchange and protocol extension, introduce application scenarios of key commands, and illustrate the configuration and verification process in detail. Finally, we summarize the test principles in this scenario. The selected networking consists of intra-area P1, P1, P2, and P2. Enable ACs between P's to ensure root reachability, and then configure an SRV6T policy to construct an SRV6 network. Next, perform PIN and tracer tests on the SRV6T policy to check its availability. First, Configure ECs globally, including the ECs device level, root cost type, and global ECs IPv6 capability. Pay attention to the following. First, in this example, SRV6 T policy is supported. As such, we need to set cost type of ECs root to wide, which facilitates the implementation of extended functions. Second, you are advised to specify the IPv6 parameter in IPv6 enable topology command on an SRV6 network to support independent IPv6 root calculation. This prevents failures in forwarding IPv6 traffic when no IPv6 address is configured on transit devices. Because ACES is implemented based on links rather than subnets. It is necessary to configure ACs on interfaces. You need to enable IPv6 on interfaces, configure IPv6 addresses, and enable ACs IPv6 on the interfaces. You are also advised to perform the preceding configurations on the loopback interfaces of P1 and P2. After the configurations are complete, ACES establishes neighbor relationships and floods LSPS through its interfaces. After the preceding configurations are complete, ACES calculates routes. You can run the display ACES route command on PE1 to check all routing information, including interface addresses and subnet routes. Next, configure SRV6. This includes enabling ACES SRV6, configuring SRV6 functions, and allocating seeds. The following uses end seeds as an example. After the configurations are complete, ACES advertises SRV6 locator and seed information. Check routing information on P1 again. The command output shows that locator routes are added to the ACES routing table after SRV6 is enabled. Check the ACES routing table on P1. The command output shows that P1 has also learned locator routes. In addition, you can check the local seed table generated on each device to view the seed information. Then, establish a bidirectional SRV6T policy between PEs using the generated seeds. To do so, configure an NOP seed, which is an OAM seed mainly used for PIN and tracer tests. Further details are provided later. Configure a sigma list, including pass end seed information and an SRV6T policy. You can view detailed information about the configured SRV6T policy on each PE, including the link priority and status. 
After the preceding configurations are complete, perform pin and tracer tests in this scenario. Currently, SRV6 pin and tracer can be implemented in either of following ways. One is to use the orbit in SRH. Because the orbit is carried in the SRH, each SRV6 endpoint node needs to process and respond to ICMPv6 pin and tracer requests. Therefore, segment-by-segment -segment tests can be implemented based on the orbit. You can run the pin IPv6 seed and tracer IPv6 seed comments to initiate tests based on one or more seeds. The other is to use the NOP seed, which can instruct data packets to be sent to the control plane for OEM processing. When performing tests for an SRV6 T policy, the handend aids the NOP seed to the signal list. Only the SRV6 endpoint node that generates an NOP seed can process ICMPv6 pin and tracer requests packets. Therefore, end-to-end -end tests can be implemented based on the NOP seed. Two methods are available. First, for tests based on the seed stack, specify one or more NOP seeds in the pin IPv6 seed and tracer IPv6 seed commands. Second, for tests based on an SRV6 T policy, Specify NOP in the pin SRE6T policy and tracer SRE6T policy commands. First, let's look at segment-by-segment -segment tests. To implement segment-by-segment -segment pin tests, specify the segment-by-segment -segment parameter. And to implement segment-by-segment -segment tracer tests, specify the overlay parameter. The end seed of the endpoint node is used as an example. In practice, you can perform tests using the seed of any node on the path. Check the packets on the outbound interface of PE1. You can find that the pin packets have been encapsulated with the SRH and that the orbit has been set. This is the same case for tracer packets. In segment-by-segment -segment test scenarios, multiple seeds can be used as a recruit. Similarly, an SRH with the orbit set and carrying multiple seeds has been encapsulated into each pin and tracer packet on outbound interface of P1. Next, let's look at E2E test scenarios. To initiate tests based on the seed stack, Run the pin IPv6 seed and tracer IPv6 seed commands. This method does not rely on the establishment of an SRV6 T policy and can be implemented as long as an NOP seed is configured. Here we can see that the segment lists in both the pin and tracer packets carry the NOP seed and that the orbit in SRH is not set. You can also run the pin SRV6T policy and tracer SRV6T policy commands to check the connectivity of an SRV6T policy and locate the 40 nodes through which the policy passes. This method is simpler than that using the seed stack, as you only need to specify an NOP seed. Here we can see that the segment lists in both the pin and tracer packets carry the NOP seed, and that the orbit in SRH is not set. Finally, let's sum up pin and tracer tests on an SRV6 network. First, the orbit in SRH can be set to implement segment-by-segment -segment tests based on one or more seeds. Second, the NOP seed can be used to implement end-to-end -end tests. An NOP seed is encapsulated into the segment lists. This method is generally used for tests based on the seed stack 
for SRV6 T policy. That's all for the pin and tracer tests on an SRV6 network. Thank you for watching.